Give me a cheer if you got into day drinking in lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's my audience. <laughs> Honestly, lockdown, I was drinking way too much. I'd, like, I'd, I'd wake up and I'd get to midday and I'd go, I have got to stop drinking, I'm wrecked. <laughs> And when the first lockdown ended, I went for a boozy lunch with a friend of mine in London and I got overexcited and I had way too much white wine and I thought, I'll walk through London, I'll just sort of sober up. And I was wandering through London and I walked past some filming. Now, I have the body of a 43-year-old mother of four, <laughs> but in these scenarios, the mind of a teenage boy, and I thought, I'm going to do something silly in the background of filming. They can do another take, it doesn't matter. And my first thought was to go like, oh, like that. And then I thought, <laughs> no, I'm better than that. So what I did is a silly walk. This is what I did in the background of filming. I went like this, I went, oh. <laughs> Not my best work by any means. Got back to where I was staying and I'd sobered up by that point and I was looking on Twitter and people were tweeting me with things like this. Just saw you on Sky News. <laughs> I hadn't considered it was a live broadcast. <laughs> Walking behind the reporter at the Old Bailey. The Old Bailey is where the worst of the crimes are tried. <laughs> Genuinely, I'd walked into the background of a report about a paedophile sex ring. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> But my first thought was to go, oh, <laughs> just delighted to have a career, to be honest with you. Could have gone so horribly wrong. <laughs> God, that was so good, wasn't it? If you enjoyed that, stick around, watch some more, if you like. <laughs> like and subscribe, please.